antennas are up and so on, yes. Um, and the picture from my... F hey, folks, just a quick run through 20 meters. I'm going to check out, uh, see if I can get Bert here. And pick, take a kind of a quick through cruise through the band, seeing as how it looks like it's uh, very happy. A1GMM Steve. Steve, uh, would, be, uh, would be great uh, contact, yes, fantastic, yes. Would be nice uh, to work with you for the first time. It was a pleasure for me, uh, my dear. Would be nice to see you on the other band with the X Beam. Uh, would be great to work with them on uh, the higher bands and so on. Yes, uh, 17, 15, uh, 10 meters uh, would be a pleasure. Yes, uh, I think uh, the, the bands are uh, really going up there. I hope to work some the XL then on 10 and so on. Wish you 73. Take care. Stay safe. God bless. And uh, many thanks for breaking in, Steve. Um, would be a pleasure. KC1, OSX, uh, DK3, Bravo Kilo. Many thanks, my dear. Stay safe. Many thanks, my dear Steve. Uh, wish you 73 and take care. God bless. Okay, K2, Bravo, Quebec. Uh, hello, my dear Paul. Uh, Love as always. He has a good 59 plus here tonight here on my side. For remembering, name is Bert, Bravo, Romeo, Tango. K2, BQ, DK3, BK. Hi, Paul. Yeah, my dear Paul, uh, K2BQ, DK3BK. Yeah, I don't know, yes, I don't, um, uh, I, I think you don't use uh, LOTW confirmation or EQSL or QSL.com confirmation, I don't know. We got contacts on 40 meter and 20 meter, and uh, I don't know, I have no confirmation from our QSOs, my dear. Yeah, k 2 be you, but it's so easy, yes. When you are closing your lock program, yes, they, they load it automatically up to the to all the things, EQSL, LOTW, um, Club Lock, and so on. Yeah, but I think you must take a look there, yes. It would be a great one. Yes, I worked on 40 meters and 20 meters so many times, yes, but it would be a great one to see you confirmed on the band there. Roger, Paul. Yeah, I'm in the northeast part from Germany, northeastern part, yes, near the Baltic Sea, on, on the point, on the halfway between Hamburg and Berlin, yes, on the point, halfway between Hamburg and Berlin, near the Baltic Sea, Roger. This uh, map in the log 401 too. Yeah, running this time. Um, my new amplifier is in B. It's not even remotely accurate. <laughs> he was just telling me where he's at, and that is not, not where the map is. Not where the map is showing where he's at. Rick is in ICOM IC7800. This element, four element, four starts in your direction here, Roger. Yeah. 
Jetzt äh, siehst du halt, Running hier ein Titan X TS5. Titan X TS5 Beam, Roger. Ja, yeah, ich say uh, four element four size in your direction. Four element four size in your direction. Yeah, I don't know why. K2, BQ, DK3, BK, I don't know why. Yes, uh, always you make cracking signals here on my side. Yes, I see my look, yes, and I write a really um, uh, uh, signal reports here in my, in, in, in my lock here. And you're always 5 and 9 there, yes, on 40 meter, like here on 20 meter. I don't know, yes, uh, you don't need another antenna. You need a better lock, Roger. Yeah, Paul, yes, uh, I, I, I don't know, yes, if you uh, got place here, yes, uh, then you build up system for the lower bands, yes, for the higher bands, yes, you can work always, all the station with the G5 away, but for the lower bands, 160 or 80 meters, yes, then you need a little bit special assistance there, but um, this time here, with your G5 away, I think we also work uh, with uh, with your G5 away on 40 meter, and you're on 20 meters, several times yeah I say stateside Germany yeah the some kilometers are far away and I think um, when you G5 are we do it all the time yes I think you don't need another antenna set up there Roger Jeez, it's even hot down here I'm starting to sweat and I'm in the dungeon it's a little a little warm outside Charlie Uniform Uniform saying a very good evening to you from the UK, over. Yeah, he's, he's got a dirty signal, man. Wow. Oh, we got the station here in Germany. We build it up to read you. And if you build up an antenna set up for 160 meters or 80 meters, wow. we can hear you. Yes, it's this opinion. Uh, yes, uh, you, you must think about it. Yes, we can read you. Ay, 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 caramba. Ugh. Oh, yeah, he's 10, 10, 15K wide. Holy crap. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> if he doesn't wrap up soon, I'm going to jump in and say hello to him. My dear Paul, yes, um, um, I think uh, when I'm in your neighborhood, yes, I could help you, but this time I can't help you, yes, I'm too far away this time, but I think, yes, uh, with such a high from the towers and uh, with your pines and so on, I think you can build up a very strong station there, yes, mm -hmm. so I can read you on the low bands, it's so much easy that you don't need uh, an amplifier, my dear, yes, you, you need uh, 50 watts that I can read you there, Roger.
be kidding. I can't understand it. If you're in Florida, yes. And I, 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 I take a look at my, my lock here from Florida. My project I visited, uh, to, to reach uh, 100 different countries, yeah? Like, over, like, like also overseas, yeah? The French overseas, I, I, I can't like another country, like Martinique or French Polynesia, New Caledonia. Is uh, for me is like another country, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> another place. <laughs> um, okay, best seven if we says I hope to meet you soon and uh, thank you very much. V E F I D I G. This is a five L I T. Over. Seven free, thank you very much. The best seven free. Seven, kilowatt one golf mic mic. Uh, the station kilowatt one golf uh, Mexico or Diebold Mexico. Uh, Roger, Roger. This is Kilo One Golf Mike Mike. Uh, name is Steve over here in Vermont, and you are five nine. Uh, I think five nine plus. Give you a report on the next go. And thank you for answering the call. Uh, good evening, over. Okay, Steve, uh, key one GMM, uh, this is M5 LIT, uh, nice audio, very good. Uh, my handle is Manu, Manu my name, and locating in Utah Beach, uh, Utah Beach area. Uh, I don't know, I think we did a QSO uh, already, I'm not sure, I will check it out. Uh, Kilowatt one uh, golf mic mic. Uh, um, my handle is Manu and uh, locating in Utah Beach. No, is the first contact. Huh? Um, so I'm um, running with a Flex Radio 6300, one KW uh, with antenna log periodic. Is a 10 element log periodic from uh, Tiny Line Company. Uh, is a T10 model. Uh, key one GMM. This is a five LIT. Over, over. Uh, Roger, QSL, uh, F5, uh, could I get your uh, call sign phonetically? I got a Fox 5 Romeo India Tango, is that correct? No, sorry, yeah. Lima India Tango, huh? London Italy Tango, okay. QSL? I got it, okay, that's what I originally had in there, uh, manual, um, right? Uh, yeah, good to hear, 5-9 plus 10, 5-9 plus 10, uh, uh, and wow yeah uh, that's a big dog of an antenna uh pushing about 400 here and on a two element full wave loop uh going northeast uh, rig is a str2 dx uh that's what's going on here yeah it looks like i looked at my log and i didn't see you but you sound familiar so uh very nice to hear you and thanks for picking me up and there are other stations trying to get you so i'm going to get out of the way and uh you have yourself a great evening and um boy nice sounded station uh, sounds really good. Uh, F5 LIT from Kilo One Golf, Mike. Mike, over. Yeah, I thinking. Uh, I thinking we did a QSO before, but I don't see uh, on my log. Yeah, uh, oh, never mind. Uh, okay, well, what is it? What is your equipment, uh, Steve? Over. Yeah, I'm running a uh, 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 Sun SDR2 DX. Uh, let's see, pushing 400 on the button out and the antenna is a two element full wave loop going northeast uh currently uh that's the working conditions uh, manual over yeah okay qr said oh it's pretty uh, suddenly i have a qrm i have a noise qrm uh, but uh, never mind it's okay yeah and uh, the, the propagation drop a little bit huh? okay yes i check your qrz.com okay you use uh, the potato head, uh, okay, is that good? Huh? Very interesting, and then I, I, I use also the log for OM, huh? very, very good. Huh? Uh, okay, your, your, your website look very, very, very interesting. Huh? <laughs> many photos, many information. Huh? Uh, is that good? Huh? Uh, 
Okay, uh, Steve. Uh, so I have to contact you again with more strong signal. But um, I lo- I like your audio. Huh? Your audio is very is very absolutely great. Huh? So best money free and uh, yes, it's uh, it's me it's forty it's mean uh, it's uh, forty plus midnight. So it's the time to go to the bed. K one GMM. This is a five LIT. Okay, Emmanuel. Uh- F5 LIT K1 GMF. What's my signal report really quick there uh, before we part ways? Go ahead. Yeah, at the beginning it was uh, 10 over 9. Uh, at the beginning it was 10 over 9, but right now it's 5.7 uh, QSR. Okay, yes, there is QSB. The band is trying to uh, uh, go sideways. Uh, thank you very much, Manuel 73. Have a good evening, and we'll catch you later. Yeah, thanks for uh, the, the comments on the QRZ page. A uh, whole lot of stuff going on here. The entire station is held together with zip ties and duct tape, and that's no joke. We'll see you later. 7-3, have a good evening. I appreciate you picking me up. F5LIT, K1GM, I'm going clear. 7-3. Yeah, QRSL, Steve. Yes, I'm uh, uh, locating in Utah Beach. You can see uh, one photo of the beach on my QRZ.com page. I need to upgrade my uh, my QRZ.com page. Okay, so I have to catch you another time with uh, because I have QRM now and uh, with uh, no with big signal and nice modulation. Hi hi. <laughs> so when if we stay, Steve, don't touch anything. Yeah, your setting is very good. Uh, your end setup also. K1 GMM. This is a fire IT. You too. Seven three. Thank you. Papa Delta Zero, Juliet, Bravo. Okay, Alpha Juliet One, United, that's correct. Papa Delta Zero, Juliet, Bravo. Here as well. Five by nine here as well as me. The name is Gary, Golf Alpha Radio Yankee, and I'm uh, just outside the city of York, Yankee Ocean Radio Kilo in the northern part of the UK. And also on frequency, there is uh, my friend Chris, uh, Mike Zero, Kilo, Oscar, Oscar. Uh, 60 Yankee 5, Hotel Mike in Jamaica, Mike 0, Charlie Tango, Papara there. Calling CQ, calling CQ, CQ on 20, here is Germany 0, Charlie Mexico, uh, kilowatt calling. Uh, calling CQ, calling CQ, CQ on 20, CQ 20 meters. Germany zero, Charlie, Mexico, a kilowatt calling. Calling CQ, calling CQ, CQ on 20, CQ 20 meters. George zero, Charlie, a Mexico, kilowatt calling. A calling CQ, calling CQ, CQ 20, Germany zero, Charlie, Mexico, a kilowatt. East coast of England listening. Kilowatt one golf Mike Mike. That's a kilowatt one golf Mike Mike. A very good evening. A very good evening from from England. Thank you for answering the call. My name is Nigel November India Golf Echo Lima Nigel. I'm located in the county of Lincolnshire. I'm in the north of the county in a small rural community. And uh, I'll give you a signal report on your next over there. Uh, King One Golf Mike Mike, G0 CMK over. Hey, Nigel. Nice to meet you here on 20 G0 CMK, Kilo One Golf Mike Mike. Uh, name is Steve. I'm over here in the state of Vermont. And uh, you're 5'9 solid uh, with some QSB. Band is getting a little squirrely on us, I noticed in the past few minutes. Um, but sounding good over here, Nigel. Um, about 200 miles uh, northeast geographically from New York City. Um, kind of southwest corner of Vermont, deep in the mountains there. 5-9, uh, no problem. Uh, G- G0CMK, K1GMM. And thanks for picking me up, Nigel. Go ahead. Yeah, fine, Steve. Fine. Well, you're also a good 5-9 as well. And also a little bit of QSB. I don't know if that's the band opening or the band closing, to be honest. Uh, Steve, I've only just come on the air. I've only just come in the shack. I've been down in the in the lounge watching a bit of TV, so I thought I'd just come in the shack and give a few call-outs. The band's been opening up a little bit, and 
You guys are just getting on the air. I seem to be. <laughs> it's, it's fast, fast approaching midnight here. So uh, I don't know. What are you? Five hours behind us? Five, six hours behind us? Something like that. I forget now. But uh, a lovely, uh, lovely signal there. And uh, final the QTH. Running here in FT1000 MP Mark V. And the amplifier is a Quadra. And the antenna is a Cushcraft X7. Up at about 35 feet, and uh, the microphone's a, a high or gold line uh, sort of thing. So uh, it uh, it seems to be working anyway. Back she comes, Steve. Come on, one golf mic, Mike. G zero with CMK over. Yeah, sounding uh, sounding great, man. Uh, that Quadra, how do you like that? I have a friend, November eight, Lima Lima Charlie. He's out in Michigan. He just picked up one of those a couple months ago. Um, uses that as a uh, backup, but he's actually uh, become very fond of that amp. Uh, nice amplifier. Uh, he's really impressed with it. Go ahead. Yeah, very, very, it, 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 very. Yes, Steve. I've had it many, many years. I've had it. Uh, I'm going to say, well, I'm nearly out it 20 years. I'm 18 years. I've had it. Uh, it's been a very touchwood. It's been a fantastic amp. Um, it's what I call a lazy man. <laughs> <laughs> a lazy man's amp in the in the perception that it's linked into the Mark V. So wherever the Mark V goes, the the Quadra just follows it. Uh, the Quadra's obviously got a built-in ATU. If I'm going to be hypercritical with it, uh, Steve, the ATU that's built into the Quadra doesn't like um, anything sort of uh, out of the ordinary with regard to SWR. It's got to be. It's got to be something. You know, anything about you know, one point four, one point five. It don't like it. Uh, you know, you can maybe get a, you can maybe get away with one four, one five, but anything above that, and no, it just goes eh, eh, no, thank you, and all the safety modes uh, kick in. The other thing is the size. The the power supply for the Quadra is as big as a rig. <laughs> Seriously, it's as big as the, the power supply alone. It's it's huge, and it's the same size as the amplifier, which is the same size as as the rig. Uh, so it uh, it's it's a big beast, a very big beast. I've got my power supply for the amplifier well down on the floor and tucked out the way over. <laughs> uh, you you almost need a, uh, another shack just for the the equipment that's supposed to go in the shack. All right. <laughs> you, you know, I don't know if you found this. You probably have. You, you know, when you put you put you put your station together and you you've got you look around and you've got plenty of horizontal space. Well, yeah, um, there's there's never enough shelving or horizontal space. It seems like, is there? Uh, especially once you start uh, throwing big stuff on it like that. Uh, that's why. Um, I've actually got my radios. Two of my rigs are actually in the other room. Uh, I'm on a, a Sun SDR2DX right now, uh, pushing about uh, 400 on the button, and it's a two-element loop uh, going northeast uh, right now at about 60 feet. Uh, pulled up in the trees. Uh, just a, a little bit of wire there. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, it, you think you've got enough room, but you just, it, it never works out that way. Uh, G0 CMK, K1 GMM. Yeah, you're right, Stephen, it doesn't, it doesn't have, uh, the power supplies I've got to, well, if you go to QR, just look me up on QRZ and you'll, you'll, you'll see a picture of the shack. The power supplies are right on the bottom, uh, tucked out of the way, because, uh, I've got a power supply for the, uh, well, oh of course, gosh. the Quadra's got its own power supply. The Mark V's got its own power supply. And then I've got a, a TS2000 and a uh, an ICOM 7600, which it's got its own, it's have its own power supply. I've got a 902, which has got a built-in power supply. I've got a FT726R, which has got its built-in power supply. So they're taken care of, but uh, it's it's also the cabling um, the, as well, Steve. I mean, I've got cables all over, and, and you know the score. It's unbelievable. So I've, when I when I've uh, redesigned the shack, I pulled I pulled the shelving and the pigeonholes or column what you want. 
I've pulled them away from the wall, so I've got about three foot gap behind the wall, uh, behind the b between the wall and the actual the desk in that holds all the radio. So I can get behind there and you know attach things, detach things, and mess about and really not worry about it. Uh, it's, 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 well, it's an absolute mess behind there. There's wires everywhere over. Yeah, I, I, I was right when you said that. I was looking at your QRZ page, and uh, um, I can see, I can see a little spaghetti hanging down back there. <laughs> but you did it the smart way. Um, it looks like you, you can walk behind there. All right, you don't have it closed off, so at least you can access the back of the equipment. That right there, that's experience. Um, I'll tell you what, uh, you don't want to see the back of what I got. I don't have anything compared to what you have, and I can't even imagine what that looks like back there, but uh, I've, I've been fussing lately with trying to get stuff organized. And you know how you, you got to be very careful moving cables um, if you don't unplug them. You know, uh, you try to, usually what ends up happening is I'll, I'll, I'll wire tie some cables together to get them grouped so it's not like a big spaghetti mess back there. And it, it inadvertently, I'll break something so something won't work. Or I'll have to take the uh, wire ties off to get access to a cable that I have to change out or something. So it's like you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. You might as well just leave it a, a freaking nightmare behind there and, and just go rip stuff out as you need to. <laughs> you know? Um, boy, you got a lot of equipment there, dude. Uh, nice job on that. Looks really, really good. Go ahead. Yeah, well, it's, uh, it is a bit of a, a plumber's nightmare. There is absolutely wires all over. And, yeah, I've, I've, I have did start off thinking, right, I'll have them all cable tied up. I'll, I'll have them all, you know, neat and tidy. But, no, nah, it's no good at all. You, you, you're you spot on. A, if you need to change something, you, you end up ripping it all out. And like you say, B, uh, you can cause yourself problems in that something doesn't work. Or the main one, I think, is if you get it all laid there and it's working fine and it's not causing any feedback or RF or anything like that, as soon as you start jiggling them about and trying to tidy them up, that's when you get your RF problems. That's when you get your feedback problems and all that. So I've just thought, right, forget it. Yes, you can just see it, but... You know, if it's there, it, it looks it, it looks an absolute mess, but it, it works, and that's that's the key issue. Over. Oh you, boy, you touched on something right there. Um, I have I've been working with. Uh, I have a YouTube channel. I'm going to push this to YouTube. I I was going to push a stream. I do a lot of live streaming, but um, if you go to my QRZ page, you'll see our QSO. Uh, I'll post it uh, in a little while after I shut down. But uh, I'm recording this, and um, uh, it's funny. Uh, you mentioned something in there. We've had, uh, I just put up a website. Um, I don't know if I got the website. I don't know. I think I forgot to put it on QRZ. Duh. Um, for an ESSB website all about audio and getting stuff running on anything from conventional super hats to SDRs. And um, I'm using a, a DAW right now to do all the processing, you know. And I used to use uh, external rack gear and all that stuff. I'm into that. I come out of a musical background, and I like playing with that stuff. So I figured I'd put to, put a website together. And uh, the issues, you know, you mentioned that uh, you get into some of this equipment, uh, audio gear, and most people don't realize that this stuff was never intended to be in, in an RF-rich environment. It was never built for that purpose. And I remember you mentioned RF, and uh, I had to move, geez, when I first moved the shack downstairs in the studio down here, I, uh, I had a huge RF issue. And I ended up moving the gear. All I did was I moved the gear physically about two feet to the left uh, into a freestanding rack, and it completely disappeared. And uh, working with some of the other guys of uh, RF, you know, that's what happens. You move something, you move a cable, or you shift something around, and all of a sudden, boom, uh, you got problems. You know, so it's one of those things. My The moral of the story is, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. 
And that's kind of where I stand on that stuff. If it's working, leave it alone. Go ahead. Absolutely. Um, absolutely, Steve. And, and that's my motto as well. Because you just you just generate more problems and cause yourself more problems. You, you just said it in one. Uh, a lot of this gear. I mean, I've got a. I've got some. I've got one of those uh, whiskey two. Is it a? I forget what it is now. W two uh, I H Y eight band things, and I've never used it. Uh, I've used it once, I think, but I've um, I've never used it. I need to get it plugged back in again. It's on the. It's on the. It's on the bench. But I tell you what, I've just bought as well. I don't know if you've seen them. Those Yesu, um, Yesu, is it MT1? Let me look at the box. Yeah, M1. I bought one of those Yesu M1 microphones. Now, they're supposed to be the dog to do dance with uh, all built in and everything sort of thing. That'll be interesting. Uh, I know it's only a microphone, and hopefully that's just a, a plug and play test. situation. Just unplug it and then uh, plug it. It's matched to this, it'll go on this radio because it's obviously. It's a year two mic, but uh, it's M1. It's, it's all got everything built into it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, I, uh, the IHY box. IHY. You know, um, I can't remember his call sign. A guy named Chaz. Talked to him once in a while on 80 meters. A couple of those guys run those boxes on a 7300, and they sound flipping great, man. Uh, they do a nice job. Um yeah, that microphone. I'm not familiar with a microphone, but um, it, that's kind of like, uh, I, I don't think you'd ever have an issue with the IHY box. I've never heard of guys that do uh, because I think it's built. That's one piece of gear that is different than, you know, let's say you, you go and you buy a preamp and an equalizer and blah, blah, blah uh, from, let's say, uh, a Behringer or a DBX or, or any gear like that that's designed to go in a recording studio. Well, yeah, the IHY box is built to be in an RF rich env environment, I would imagine, right? Um, I'll tell you, sound cards too. Uh, <laughs> sound cards, uh, I know of six now, six people that have grenaded their sound cards. Uh, like I'm running uh, a sound card here, uh, which feeds audio from the DAW to, um, uh, the SDR2 DX, which is what I'm on right now. And uh, it's it's an M audio card, but the Mackie cards seem to be prone. The other cards are prone to it as well. But you get a little RF in the shack and it increases the, the voltage um, uh, beyond the threshold of the electronics with the tolerance of the electronics and the preamps. And some of these sound cards, and you'll take them right out, man. You, you'll, you'll grenade them. And uh, I've seen uh, six of them so far, Mackies, uh, specifically Mackie cards. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a dangerous game, man. <laughs> a lot of QSB on your last over. Hopefully you still copy me there, Nigel. Go ahead, uh, G0CMKK1GMM. Yeah, Steve, yeah, there's a lot of QSB coming in. I just better watch it. Uh, yeah, I've got you still, but you, you're dropping like a stone. You're getting very, very low. And uh, you're absolutely right. It's, it's getting quite bad. Have you still got me? Can you still hear me, over? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're anywhere from a 5 to a 9. It's just up and down. Yeah, the same this side. Yeah. So, well, we all, I mean, yeah, the WH, uh, the, the, the box thing I've got, uh, I don't think I'll have any problems with it. I've just, uh, I missed about with it. I got it working right. And then somebody said, oh, just tweak this. Just tweak that. It'll, it'll do it. It'll sort it out even better. And it didn't. It knocked it off altogether. And uh, I lost patience with it because it would take a lot of setting up. But I'd spent ages setting it up. And then somebody just came on and said, oh, just get the screwdriver out and tweak it underneath. And that'll sort it. <laughs> it didn't. It made it worse. But anyway, I need to I need to go back to basic, basic for that and just start again. But the, you know, this, this M1 microphone, it's the supposedly the old singing, dancing thing from Yesu. It's got equalizers and God knows what all built in it. It's the latest all singing, dancing thing. So we'll have we'll a play with that sometime. But uh, lots of things on at the minute. So radios are just a bit of a back seat at the minute, over. Uh, that is the story of my life, Nigel, right now. Uh, painful. And boy, you took a big dive and then you popped right back up. Um, yeah, story of my life. I've been so busy. It's so nice to get in here and actually have a yapper with somebody. <laughs> Not a 5973 see ya. 
uh, later, you know what I mean? Um, but I am going to clear. Uh, maybe you can pick up somebody. Uh, maybe the path is better uh, and the band will be better uh, going deeper, maybe, um, in, a, in the states I'd hear. Uh, but nice to hear you, man. And I got dinner. What time is it? It is. Oh, yeah. Dinner's probably almost ready, so I'm going to have to head upstairs anyways. Uh, hit the YouTube channel if you want to listen to QSO. I'll have it posted later, and it will probably render uh, by tomorrow. It'll be up by tomorrow morning. If you remember, if not, don't worry about it. But really nice to chat with you, and have a good evening, man. Thanks for picking up the call. And thanks for taking the time for a nice yak. Uh, it's, it's nice. Uh, I like this. I, I kind of look at 20 meters as the new rag chew band. Because 40 has been such so horrible for the past year and a half. So, <laughs> you know, 20 is great. You know, you can get in here and have a nice uh, chin wag and um, uh, meet some new people and make some good friends. And it's, that's what this is all about. Uh, I'll let you tie it off, man. G0CMK, K1GMM. Yeah, fine, Steve. Yeah, hope you still got me because you uh, dived as well. So, uh, but uh, enjoyed it immensely, and hopefully we'll uh, we'll hook up again, and uh, we can uh, rag chew some more. Yeah, I don't do. I, I'm a rag chewer. I don't do this five and nine stuff. It doesn't do anything for me, mate. But uh, there we go. But it's been a pleasure, and hopefully we can do it again. K1 Golf Mike Mike from G0 CMK. Best of Sunday threes to you and yours. A very, very good morning from England. Thank you very much, Steve. Stay safe. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Nigel. Same this side. Uh, catch you later. K1 GMM. Yeah, cheers and beers. Yeah, let me take a look and see if there's... Proposition. This is fantastic. Um, I've got my long wire down. Um, I used to run a, a G... No, a, a doublet, uh, 80 through. And I used to talk to you guys on 80 and 40 meters every evening. Uh, but uh, that's down. And I've just built a new dipole, actually, uh, for 80 meters. And it's going to go up pretty much twice as high as it used to be. So, uh, yeah, trying to trying to just get everything square. Um, and I'm, I'm running resonant antennas now, uh, which seems to make a hell of a difference for the amplifier, Brian Ever. the state side here i don't know who that is huh all right gang i am going to pull the plug have a good evening we'll catch y'all later that was a nice nice couple of contacts there um get on the bands have a look around um there is activity it looks like <laughs> Who knows? Maybe we'll be back later. I uh, will catch you all later, 7-3. Have a good one, folks, and thanks for watching.